Hey love, so it's time to slay another wig. This one here is by DY Hair 777. And of course, it's featuring my lovely daughter Tatiana. So we're gonna go ahead and do this 14-inch Burmese virgin bob and this is a lace frontal of course there are three combs in the front a comb and an adjustable strap in the back and i also went ahead and put an elastic band in there so that way it's easy for her to put on so this is going to be something really simple and it will also help your wig stay in place if you do cut the top of the wig cap it will keep the wig and cap in place so that way it's not slipping all over and your wig is not slipping back kind of figured this out because my wigs always kept slipping back until i tried this the other day and my wig was on for a week so anyways I'm gonna make it look a little bit more closer to Tatiana's complexion and I'm gonna go ahead and use some of her pressed powder just a little bit you don't need it all covered up because like I said it's only a lace frontal the actual length I think I did tell you guys was 14 inches it's Burmese virgin hair and it's straight and it does say it is a 300% density on the website now I'm gonna be honest I don't really think it's 300% density I do know it's not thin which is amazing because we don't really like thin wigs you know what I'm saying we don't really like thin wigs because like I say if you're gonna do a wig do it big so you can definitely check out DY hair 777 they have a bunch of different units and I have done a quite a few reviews for them as well so I thought we would do Tati a bob since you know I'm not really like the bob type of girl but I think she would look amazing on it so I went ahead and cleaned her hairline off because she did just finish doing her makeup and I'm not going to glue the wig down I'm not going to tape it down I'm just going to gel the baby hairs down and this is also going to hold the unit in place she doesn't really want any tape or glue on her or gel like she doesn't want the wig stuck to her head like that which is great and you know I, I can't blame her so you know it is what it is let's go ahead and put this unit on and the only thing I did to it was cut the lace off of it the lace was like very transparent I think like this lace was the best lace that I've ever gotten for her per se like um well the first wig she did was really nice the lace was nice but I think this one the lace was like superb like really great meaning it just was kind of like more closer to her complexion which was great and I really was happy about that so you guys already know some of the ear tabs are a little bit too big for us you know they do come standard size because everybody has to customize them you have to customize them to your liking or you can always just pull them behind your ear so for the wig to fit her actual circumference really good I am going to go ahead and part this right above her ear line so that way there's no excess lace or hair and it's not annoying to her and you just want to be very careful when doing so because you don't want to cut your ear or the person's ear that you are customizing the unit for if they are wearing it and I didn't have to really do too much on this side because you know it was all good to go now as you guys see it the lace does match her skin or her scalp perfectly and the knots were not bleached but they did a hell of a good job with the actual lace and the ventilation of the hair so I really didn't have to do much I'm gonna go ahead and part this and give her a left-sided part because that's just how I wanted to do the wig um, it is more or less like an asymmetrical bob um, it's really cute the baby hairs are awful long on it as you guys can see here so I'm gonna go ahead and just part some of the hair you don't need a lot of baby hairs I always tell you guys that but it's up to you to each his own it's your preference you know some people like a little some people like a lot some people like them really really thick some people don't I'm gonna take my eyebrow to um eyebrow I don't know what you call these things but it's an eyebrow shaper and eyebrow trimmer and I'm just gonna cut that off these work really well for baby hairs um they're to me I thought they were still a little bit long baby hairs but you know they worked out fine I will actually go back and cut some more of that little long piece right there so just hold on but Tati likes them like this length I think for me I think they would be a little bit shorter I'm not really sure but you know it is what it is now just so that I don't have to put a whole bunch of gel on the unit prior to styling the baby hairs I'm just going to take some of my Dollar Tree hair mousse and I'm just going to kind of like sculpt the hair I call this green toothbrush my sculpting brush only because this is my favorite toothbrush and I get it a little bit hard with the gel on it and it just sculpts the hair perfectly so if I'm gonna do baby hairs I definitely have to do it with this one so as I told you guys I'm not going to glue it on her I'm not going to tape it on her I'm not going to gel it down onto her scalp I'm just going to gel and style the baby hairs so that way the unit is in place you guys will see this week you can actually wear this week for like two days straight without having to worry of course you definitely want to sleep with like a really nice head scarf on just to keep the hairs down but i guarantee you guys you won't be disappointed 
This is how I do some of my wigs. You can definitely just put some mousse, a little bit of gel on the baby hairs, and some um, hairspray. The hairspray that I'm going to use right now is the Got To Be um, Hair Freeze, and I'm also going to be using the Pump It Up. Um, you can e do use either or, or you can use both. If you use both, it's definitely going to hold, but you definitely want to take a blow dryer like you see here on Cool and just sculpt those baby hairs into the unit and just a little bit onto the person. And trust me when I tell you, this wig is not going anywhere. It's the actual gel and hairspray that holds it in place, but you don't have to put it directly onto your skin. You can actually just put it on the hair and just a little bit on your baby hairs and the wig is tight. Like seriously, it's not moving. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix up the baby hairs with my sculpting brush just a little bit. Like I said, I told you guys this a million times. Me and baby hairs do not get along, but for some reason I can definitely do them on somebody else before I can do them on myself. Like it's just easier. And you know, I really didn't have time to like pluck the hairline of this actual lace front because it was at kind of like last minute she wanted to um, wear her hair or a wig so this is kind of like last minute but what's really impressive about the unit is the fact that I didn't have to do anything I mean I could have but being that it was at last minute the wig was like the, you know what I'm saying like the ventilation on it was just good enough to where I didn't really have to do much like the hairline wasn't all thick and like very bit very overwhelming it looked almost natural you know just a little bit tweaking and sliding and gelling down and it'll look just as natural as you can get it without plucking and tweezing it so for me I think like the hairline looked great especially the way that I maneuvered the baby hairs and made it kind of look like an extra hairline or a little bit more hairline so I'm just going to take the back of my sculpting toothbrush and I'm just going to smooth and dry down the actual baby hairs and I did spray a little bit of pump it up on it and also I did use a little bit of a got to be clear gel on the baby hairs now like I told you guys I'm not gelling it onto her actual skin per se like underneath the wig so you don't have to do that you can just use a little bit of gel and hairspray and a blow dryer and trust me when I tell you the wig will actually stay in place I'm just going to do the same side onto this side. Same thing with the baby hairs. You know, I'm not really doing anything different. It's just the same exact technique. You want to make sure that that ear tab is definitely like tacked down. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and use my clips just to hold the hair up and I'm going to go ahead first I'm going to cut some of that off if this is just going to serve the purpose as her sideburns and you don't want a lot or you don't want them too long. So now you guys see I did put a little mousse and I'm also going to be using some of the got to be clear gel. I prefer the clear versus the yellow um, just because they both do flake but the clear one doesn't flake as much and it doesn't look as noticeable as the white. Now with the toothbrush, the back of a toothbrush, I'm gonna use my blow dryer once again. As you guys did see, I used the hairspray and I'm just gonna smooth it down. I'm gonna smooth it down as I dry the hairspray so that way that ear tab will sit. So now it's on to the melting of the lace. Now let me tell you guys, I bought this hot comb from Walmart for 20 bucks. Um, I don't know how I really feel about it. I don't know, like seriously, I really don't know how I feel about it. I just feel awkward to use it. Maybe I got to get used to it, but I will say that the on and off switch is kind of like right where your hand would be. And I did end up turning this off like a couple times. Plus, I don't think the cord is long enough. Like, I really like a nice long cord for any type of my heating tools. And for this one, I honestly didn't feel like the cord was long enough. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep it or not. I'm going to try to use it for myself, but... I don't know if it gets hot, but I don't know if I feel like it gets hot enough. Tati did say that it was hot enough so she could feel it on her scalp, but I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't really, you know, I could just use my barrel curl, but, you know, I'm just going to give it a chance. But if you're looking for a hot comb, you can definitely check out Walmart or first, I would definitely check out my beauty supply store. So now onto my styling lotion. This is more or less like a smoothing lotion um, and it is called Cool Way. I did use this in an upcoming video for myself and I actually do like it because it doesn't weigh your hair down and it is called Cool Way. Now just to give this bob wig a little bit of style and pizzazz, you know, give it a little bit of flair. I'm just going to use my flat iron to bump it out 
You cannot do that with the hot comb, unfortunately, because the girl was trying. Mm -hmm. I was definitely trying. So look at the sides and her edges. They look really cute, especially for a wig that was not customized. Like, meaning I did not pre-tweeze or pre-pluck the hairline. And I think it still looks good, whether regardless of if I did it or not. Like I said, this was at last minute. And because the lace was so ventilated, I think they did an amazing job on the lace. I still don't believe that it's 300% density, you know, to each his own, but the quality of the hair is actually really, really nice. I love where they have the comb situated. The cap did fit her snug, she said. The hair quality is nice as well. They did an awesome, amazing job on the cut and style of the unit as well. And for the most part, I do like it. DY Hair 777 has some amazing units. I probably did like about four or five really video <laughs> reviews for them uh, within the past two years. And they do have good quality products, so I will give them that. They are affordable as well, so you can definitely check them out. I'm pretty sure they'll have some type of sale going on. You know, the holidays, Mother's Day is coming up, so they'll always have something going on. But they are a very great company. They have a very friendly staff, so I would definitely recommend them. So, you guys, we hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial of Tati wearing her first bob. You know, she was like me, not a bob girl, but I think, like, this wig looks so so pretty on her like seriously i think she wanted to wear it in the mid as a middle part but honey you cannot do the bobs in the middle part and anyway i think like she looks great with a side part but i really do like this wig on her a lot it suits her it does look so cute and sassy i know i wish i could just pull off a bob too but i'm just not a bob girl I'm, i don't know why but i'm definitely not a bob girl but i do like this on her a lot this is very becoming of her and very like grown and sexy. So yes, you guys, you can definitely check out DY Hair 777. I'll post all the information below for you guys. Let us know what you think. I love bringing her and just incorporating Tati into my videos. You know, I love wearing wigs too, but hey, it's always nice to be able to hook up your daughter. And for the final touch, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of her pressed powder for the scalp. I really didn't even need to use this because it looks actually just like hair. But I did need to use it on the side part just so that way you'll be able to see it. So I'll stop rambling and I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. Stay deep and be delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up because you love us so much. And as always, I'll see you guys on a soon to come video. Bye. I don't, I just have mean faces, I don't, I don't You always look pretty though. I like so. to do mean faces. Okay, well just tell me what you think of the hair. Oh, Jeez, thank God the wig is on tight. I look like a sexy news lady. A sexy news lady? Yeah, I look professional. Oh, it looks pretty though, I like yeah, it. I have a professional job, I work for the government. Yeah. Uh, okay. no. You work for Trump? I work for Obama. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I quit when he came in the office. Oh, it looks cute though. I like it. And it's all secure too. That shit ain't going nowhere. That looks cute. Don did it again. Me, right? The wig slayer. Oh, shoot. <laughs> the wig slayer. That looks nice. I like it though. That looks cute on you. Look Back to you, April. <laughs> Oh, yeah.